Welcome to the Bad Realtor Series. I'm Judy Horn and I work with my husband Nelson Horn. We're Realtors in the Greater Palm Springs area. Today's Bad Realtor video deals with dual agency. Dual agency is a situation when the same Realtor represents the seller of a home and also the buyers. Dual agency is legal in California as well as some other states. Watch today's video to see some examples of what can happen in a dual agency relationship. Join me at the end of the video. Hey, I just want to let you know I heard back from the Smiths. Yeah, they're my clients who I showed the Jones house to. Yeah, my listing on South Street. No, it seems the Smiths want to place an offer on South Street. Yes, terrific. I can get two commission checks. Two commission checks. Ugh, the problem is my ethical allegiance to the Joneses, not the buyers, the Smiths. No, I don't think the Smiths know about this. Now, the trick would be to get Mr. Jones to agree to the lowball offer the Smiths are making. I need the money, so I have to make him take the offer. But, hey, I gotta run. I'll see you at home, okay? Wish me luck. Hey, Mr. Jones? I have some good news for you. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the people I showed your house to yesterday, have submitted an offer. Now, it's $65,000 less than you needed in order to sell, but I think you should take the offer. No, no, it's not an insult. Hear, hear me out. These guys are looking at three other houses in your neighborhood. Like they told me they really don't care which one they get. They said your house is a declining area and they know there are lots of properties out there that, you know, they can get the amount they're offering you. No. They said the exterior needs a major cash infusion, the landscape needs attention, and the inside will have to be upgraded out of the 70s style and into today's. No, it's not an insult. I agree with them. Yes, I told you originally your price was fair, but now I've reevaluated the pricing. I think their offer is good. No, 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 a counter offer won't work. I know these guys. These guys will just have you write an offer on one of the other properties. You don't have to, then you're going to lose them as buyers. If you were to take this offer, you could move closer to your grandchildren within a month. Do you, Mrs. Jones, do you still want to do that? I know you do. This may be your only offer. The market for your type of home does not exist. If you're getting another offer, chances are it would be even lower. Well, let me stop by and you can sign the contract. Mr. Jones, in your heart, you know you're doing the right thing. I'll be living next to those grandkids within the month. Okay. Yes. The Jones went for it. <laughs> oh, if I didn't need two commission checks, I'd feel guilty about the Jones selling so low. All right, see you when you get home. Hi, welcome back. You had an opportunity to see this video in which a dual agency relationship is being shown. The realtor in today's video represented both the seller and buyer. What do you think the outcome of this was if you were the seller or if you were the buyer? When entering into a dual agency relationship, make sure you're working with an ethical realtor who is representing your interests to the fullest. If you are interested in buying, selling, or investing in real estate in the Greater Palm Springs area, call Nelson and I. We'd love to speak with you. For now, so long. Make sure to find some of the other videos in this series.